actually it's a funny experience. I was playing at the time with the, um, I had a trio, and I was on the road with a, um, a touring group. We had a Dave Brubeck, we had the four freshmen, we had a Maynard Ferguson's big band, and my trio. Now for some reason, uh, my bass player couldn't do the last uh, date of this tour, which was going to be at the um, Chicago Stadium, it was a Playboy. Uh, actually, it was the first Playboy festival. Sonny was a participant, an artist in an afternoon show. Uh, Walter Perkins, who I came to New York with, was a drummer in Chicago. And Walter knew Sonny, and Sonny asked Walter, he wanted a bass player and said, Walter, get the guy that you like playing with or you've played with. And so Walter said, okay. And he called me and asked me to play this thing with Sonny, and I was frightened to death. I'm saying, oh, man, shit, am I ready for this? You know, I'm now Sonny Rollins, I'm moving up. The, the stakes are a little higher here, you know, and I said, I don't know whether I'm ready. And it was just trio, it was drums, bass, and Sonny. And I'm saying, oh man, you know, I mean, I've heard Sonny with Wilbur Ware, so I had a, and Victor Sproles when Sonny would come, and they were the more experienced bass players in Chicago at that time. We just followed. I mean, I never thought I would ever get to a Sonny Rollins at that time because these guys were taking care of so much business. But Sonny called and I did the concert. And it was really very successful. I mean, we kicked ass and took names. I mean, Sonny burned the. It was just incredible. So now I got a chance to understand what Sonny, the artist, was about, because we ate it up. And Sonny asked me if I would like to work, you know, he, he wanted to start a group, he didn't know when, but if I was interested in playing with Sonny, so of course I'm gonna say yes. But I'm just thinking, in my mind, I had a caption, well, Sonny is just being kind, because with all the great bass players around, why would he be looking for me? I mean, I, I, I always looked for the Wilbur Wares. I mean, these were the people who musically were there. And that was th the beginning. Well, I was stuck for a bass play, and somebody said, well, there's this guy, uh, Bob Crancher, he might be able to do it. So, okay, short notice, he came by, and um, we were playing a song, whatever it was, I don't remember exactly, but I made a, uh, what, what you call a transformation. Uh, we, in music, we call it a modulation. You go from one key to another key. The same song, but changing keys. So I made a modulation at a certain point in the it song was proper to make this modulation. Sure enough, Bob made the modulation with me. So after he did that, then I said, yeah, this guy is, we're on the same wavelength. And he called me and asked me to be a part of his first group. And of course I was honored, frightened, you know, very, leery about it because I just didn't feel like I had the prowess to stand up with a Sonny Rollins. Not from what I saw on the stage when other people were there, I really never thought I was ready. And it has been a great opportunity. I've had a ball for, I don't know, 40 some years now. Longer than my marriages, Sonny and I have been together. That was uh, the beginning of uh, our, our uh, relationship. So we played together off and on. Bob has been with a lot of different people. He doesn't, but uh, he's been with me for a lot of those years. I always equate things. I like sports, and so I equate myself as I'm blocking for Sonny, who's a halfback, who is just skill, 
and he'll find a place to run through. I don't care how big a block, whether you go left or right, Sonny, just rem I enjoy blocking for Sonny because he runs the ball so well. <laughs> you know, it's a touchdown. It's always a lot of yards gained when I play with Sonny because he's a superstar. Sonny is a superstar. That's about, you know. I could never explain it in any other way. He just keeps growing every time I hear him every day. I'm fortunate to be able to be there and listen to Sonny daily, weekly, monthly, yearly. And, and, and it's a blessing. It's kept me, it, it, my life, it, it's, it, I feel the youngness in my life. I don't feel wiped out as a musician. It's kept me young. It's kept me young in spirit because Sonny kicks ass. Sonny, the, I mean, it's just, <laughs> you know, you know that he's the man, you know. Hey? I'm under the man, but he's the man. I mean, that's, that's it. He's it. He's brilliant. That, that's the first thing I said. Sonny is brilliant. He's brilliant. I mean, he's a surgeon on the sax. You know, he's, uh, he can cut you all different ways. He's a surgeon. <laughs> you know? He's, he's just, a, he's great. He's just, a, that, that's about all I can say. He's a surgeon. He's just skill. How he comes up with what he, you know, I sit there and again I listen to it. It's hard for me to analyze it because by the time you are able to check out one thing, he's led you to someplace else that you are thinking about and you've forgotten what you thought you wanted to remember through Sonny. Sonny is just, you know, he's great. Great guy, brilliant, a scholar. He loves the environment. I, I like people to talk about trying to say he's aware of everything that's happening with him and around him. He's, he's brilliant. He's a brilliant man. When we're together is a lot of fun. You know, I, watching him on the bus and watching our travel, I, I'm amazed that he'll spend a lot of time reading and so forth, you know, where we're probably in the back of the bus acting up. Sonny is reading, he's always focused into things. He whistles a lot, so I'm hearing tunes, I'm hearing things that are on his mind. It's one of those little things that he'll do, you know. He'll whistle some tunes and I, I look back in my bank and see whether I, I kind of know the tunes. I understand where he, I just feel like I really know musically, I know, kind of, I feel what he's going to do. It's just so natural, the things that he'll do, and yet you got to look twice before you cross the street because Sonny's things are, he can, he, 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 can, he can throw you, but it all makes sense. It's just, it's wonderful to block for Sonny, to run.